forward slash coyotes. I'm meteorologist John Weatherby. The views expressed on the following program do not necessarily reflect the views of Money Radio staff, management, or advertisers, and do not represent an offer to buy or sell any securities. Some interviews heard on this program may be sponsored by the participants. It's time for Health Futures with Cypress Home Care Solutions, Bob Roth. This is Arizona's only show dedicated to providing you with expert advice on how to live a longer, healthier, and happier life. To learn more, call 602-264-8009. That's 602-264-8009. Now, here's your host, Bob Roth. Good afternoon. My name is Bob Roth, and I'm your host of Health Futures, Taking Stock in You. If you're just tuning in for the very first time, we're a show about how our older adult population can live a healthier, happier life. And we've had the pleasure of bringing this show to you for approximately four and a half years. And what makes our show great is I bring extraordinary guests to the show. And those guests talk about the issues, the opportunities, the challenges, the breakthroughs, everything that's going on in the aging, um, aging world, if you would, for lack of a better word. And I've got two incredible guests, and I've got a sidekick here along with me <laughs> uh, to really do just that. And I want to just get right to it because we got a chock full of good information, good resources for you, the listening audience, to really, um, really not only listen upon, but really maybe engage on. Um, so with fur- without further ado, I want to introduce our guests, and the first half of our show is going to be dedicated to the guest to my right, and she was just on our show a few weeks ago, and I'm proud to have Elizabeth Banta. She's the executive director for Duet, which is Partners in Health and Aging. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Bob. It's so good to have you, and uh, I can't wait to talk to you about this upcoming event that you've got going on. And just to her right and my left is Becky Fiola, and Becky is somebody I've known about, and I know we our acquaintances have, you know, we've crossed one another, but it's so nice to have you on the show. She has a company called Elder Care Consulting and Placement Services. The uh, I'm sorry, the name of the company is Assisted Living Advantage, and it is an Elder Consulting and Placement Service company. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Bob. It's- delightful to be here <laughs> and it's good to have you here and and just to her right my left is james ship and james ship is a a friend and he's the guy that really encouraged me to do this show and and james has got a pr and advertising company called ship shape media welcome to the show james thank you kicking and screaming he was kicking and screaming and and but i will t- realize now you know now he just shows up and does his thing. That's about it. That's well, you, you, you know what? He he helped me take off the training wheels because when I first got started, I was recording these shows after the second week of recording. And he goes, you're ready. And I'm ready for what? He goes, you're ready to go live. And uh, we've been going live pretty much ever since. The only time we do record a show is when we get one of these extraordinary guests that can't be here at noon on Friday. So we'll record the show. And, and it's usually a research scientist or doctor who just can't really break away during the noon hour and be here. So James will also be uh, handling the mic for me next Friday. So uh, he'll be guest hosting. Yes. Well, and again, you were talking about this show all week. So I, I don't know. I, the guests I have, hopefully I will be able to live up to what, what you've got going on today. These are two great, great ladies. They, they really are. And, and I want to bounce back over to Elizabeth. And Elizabeth is the executive director of a an incredible organization that I'm proud to serve on the board for. And it's a great social service organization that serves so many here in our community. And and I want you, before we talk about the big event that's coming up, to really frame Duet so our listening audience can really get a better understanding of what Duet is and what we do here in our community. Thank you so much. And it is such a pleasure having you on our board, helping guide us forward. Appreciate all that Cyprus does. Duet brings compassion dignity and hope to thousands of older adults and family caregivers and grand families around our community through volunteers and partners in service, congregations and businesses like yours, Bob, and donors who pull together to create a really strong network of care in our community. 
You guys have been around how long? For 36 years. And how long have you been associated with them? Actually, for 31. 31 years. Wow. Yes. 22 and as the director. 22 as the director, and it was founded by a, a woman by the name of Dr. Dosha Carson. Carlson. Car- Carlson. Yes. And she had this mission. She had a vision to begin with, the thought that people, our community was aging, and people, for the most part, wanted to remain living in their own homes as long as possible. And at that point in time, there really wasn't much in our community in the way of alternatives. It was at home by yourself or in a nursing home and not many options in between. So she pulled together local leaders in our community and brainstormed and Together, they conceived of this idea of an interfaith community-based network of care that could reach thousands of people with free-of-charge services. And I want to emphasize free-of-charge services because many that are listening in have heard me talk about the entity that my family and I created back 24 years ago. And it was to provide respite services and caregiving services to the masses in our community. And we are a for-profit entity, and we come across so many that live in our community that cannot afford these services. And we rely on, and at Cypress, we rely on Duet and some of the others that we have referred people to because they just don't have the resources. And one of the things that I will say, and I'll make this appeal out to our listening audience, is there's will, desire, and this platform that Duet has created. And they've done a fantastic job of getting the word out there. So there are many people that are needing help. The biggest challenge we have is, obviously, we'd love to get more dollars. But more importantly, we need volunteers. And volunteers are the secret to success. Exactly. So the way we help homebound adults, our definition being people not able to drive any longer is by inspiring caring people to step up and decide to make a difference. And we pair volunteers with the elders who we call neighbors. Actually, it can be people over the age of 18 who receive help, who have physical challenges. And the volunteers then are paired with the neighbors in a duet of service to offer simple things like grocery shopping, rides to doctor's appointments, friendly visits, minor home repairs, help with paperwork. We can provide computers to people and teach them how to use them through volunteers, things like that. And actually, those, a a lot of the people we help actually have a combination of help such as that offered through Cyprus, where perhaps they need help with bathing or meal preparation, But it's nice to have someone come by to visit and to take the time to visit throughout a grocery shopping trip or a doctor's appointment. And between that, people can stay living in their own homes longer. And I've had the chance to witness the the volunteers with the care recipients. Uh, It's an amazing thing. And I want our listening audience to know that go to duetaz.org. That's D-U-E-T-A-Z.org. If you go to the website right now and you go down to the bottom... They got this map, this interactive map, and, and, and I'm just looking at it right now. And, and to give you an example, Mary in Scottsdale needs help getting groceries. I mean, that's just an example, and you can click on it. You can see where Mary is. You can contact Duet. Um, you, can get, you can get the skill sets to be this partner, if you would, and care. And you've got to go through what to do that. It's a simple process. We require that a person attend an orientation. We have them at least once a month, two and a half hour orientation. If a person can't make the times that are scheduled, we'll provide an individual orientation and we'll take care of fingerprinting and reference checking, but then a person will be ready to go and can help a neighbor who lives close to their home or to their work. And it's very flexible. Well, that, that is ideal that it is flexible and if you are listening in right now go to the website or call 602-274-5022 we need our village we need people to step up and help so many we serve over 2,000 is it what's the number 2,600 people a year through the volunteer help for elders helping caregivers grandparents raising grandchildren and also helping congregations develop health programs 2,600 now I I want to just tee this up for our next segment. Uh, One of the things that Duet does is they bring 
really great, meaningful information and resources to our community. They're kicking off their second annual Family Caregiving Symposium on Thursday, November 2nd, 2017, from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., and it's going to be held right there at Beatitudes, the Church of Beatitudes at 555 West Glendale Avenue, Phoenix, Arizona, 85021. Actually, it's an all-day event, 9 a.m. to 4.30. We're going to talk a little bit more about it in the second segment. But this lines up perfectly with National Family Caregiving Month, which is the month of November. I've talked about it tirelessly over the last 14 years since I've been at the helm of Cyprus. we got over 50 million Americans that are making the ultimate sacrifice to be that caregiver. Stay tuned. You're listening to Health Futures Taking Stock. And you... I got Becky Fiola and Elizabeth Banta here. We'll be back just in a couple minutes. Hi, I'm Johnny D. And I'm Rick, the Professor Plum. Every day on Bucket Strategy Investing, we're talking about financial planning, investment decisions, and retirement strategies. We focus on wealth education and the strategy designed for the needs you have today and the goals you have for the future. Tune in to Bucket Strategy Investing. And call in with questions. Retirement strategies, taxes, Social Security, and more. That's what we're talking about on Bucket Strategy Investing. Beer, art, music, trains? The Railroad Fest stages the best art, music, and food. Enjoy beer by Four Peaks Brewery, music by Ultimate Bon Jovi, voted Arizona's best cover band, Chad Rubin, Fuel It, and DJ Wolf One, plus art and games. 100% of the proceeds go to the nonprofit Skyline Wish Builders, which has been helping poverty-stricken children in Phoenix since 2004. For tickets and more information, visit RailroadFest.com. That's RailroadFest.com. Did you know that every dollar you put in a piece of real estate makes you money five ways? Cash flow, money in your pocket each month. Equity capture, the thousands of dollars you create when you have the right team and buy the right property using the right map. Appreciation, real estate doubles in value about every 20 years. Equity buildup, renters pay down your mortgage each month. And finally, the tax advantage. We pay almost no taxes on our cash flow and capital gains. These are the five ways we make money in real estate, which is why real estate accounts for more millionaires in the world today than any other investment vehicle. You should have some real estate in your portfolio. To learn how, attend one of our free workshops. Call 866-971-8970 or go to luiphoenix.com and register for the next available workshop. That's 866-971-8970 or go to luiphoenix.com. Get a free Beauty Rest Sleep Tracker Monitor with the purchase of select mattresses during the Beauty Rest High Performance Sleep Sale. Find a retailer at BeautyRestRetailers.com. Get yours at Spencer's TV and Appliance. Now back to Health Futures. Taking stock in you. If you have questions about your own or your loved one's future health care, call 602-264-8009. Now, here's your host, Cypress Home Care Solutions, Bob Roth. Come back. You're listening to Health Futures. I'm your host, Bob Roth. And if you're just tuning in, we're on our second segment. And we are talking right now duet. Uh, I've got Elizabeth Banta, the executive director here. And I, and I want her to tee up this, this clip that we're going to play. I talked about at the end of the last segment, the Family Caregiver Symposium that they're hosting at Beatitudes Um Church of Beatitudes at 555 West Glendale Avenue, Phoenix, Arizona, 85021. And if you wouldn't mind, just share with us real quickly. It's two segments, two-part segment, and you've got an incredible facilitator and some great guests. We will have a, an incredible day in the afternoon. We're just going to hear a clip in just a moment of a new video series that Duet has created called Finding Meaning and Hope. And it is based on a book by Dr. Pauline Boss called Loving Someone Who Has Dementia. People attending the afternoon session will be trained to be able to lead a video discussion series in their own book club or congregation or wherever they know other caregivers and would like to lead a series. So we have a three-minute description of this video series. All right. So we're going to kick it off. And and by the way, it's Pauline 
uh, Boss. She's uh, Dr. Pauline Boss. She's a family therapist, pioneer theorist of ambiguous loss, and the author of Loving Someone Who Has Dementia. What am I going to do if I can't? Who's going to take care of him if I don't get out of the hospital? I've given up on the idea of Sandy and I walking down the beach. No loss. No loss. That was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. It was the right thing for him. His safety. And it was the right thing for me because I was running out of, I was running out. I find myself with this ridiculous hope that um, if I only did more, she would be better. Don't wait. Don't wait until it's so difficult you're ready to walk away. It's just not a healthy situation. And I, that's the thing that comes up over and over at support groups. You know, deal with things early on. And that's why I think this program is going to be so important because it's going to be reaching out to people who may not even know that they're caregivers and may never even know or understand the kind of journey they're run into. Hello, my name is Pauline Voss, and for the past 40 years, I've been studying families with ambiguous loss when someone is here but not here or not the way they used to be. Thanks to a generous grant from the Virginia G. Piper Charitable Trust, the organization Duet Partners in Health and Aging has produced a nine session video series for family caregivers based on my book, Loving Someone Who Has Dementia. This video series is for you, whether you're doing hands-on or long distance caregiving. It's for you if you're experiencing sadness and anxiety because you care about someone who is both present and absent. It's for you if you are on this journey in isolation or without access to support. This series is also for other people, friends, relatives, clergy, educators, medical professionals, family therapists, certified care providers, anyone who wants a resource that discusses the complexities of a caregiver's ongoing losses and what to do about it. Joining me in each session are family caregivers opening their hearts and sharing their real life journeys. The goal of this series is to keep you strong, healthy and resilient as you do the hard work of caregiving. I hope that you will come along on this journey of healing and hope. That is amazing, Elizabeth. I mean, I can't help but get moved. I mean, it is going to be an incredible workshop. And, uh, you know, I want you to talk a little bit about it so our listening audience will know more. Well, there are a variety of opportunities. In the morning from 9 to 1, we invite any listener who's a family caregiver. They may not know they're a family caregiver, but if they have a responsibility for an aging loved one, they are. To join us from 9 to 1, we have a wonderful group of panelists who will be joining us. Amy Goyer, who is AARP's family and caregiver expert. She's written the book, Juggling Life, Work and Caregiving. She will be talking about a peak stress time, which is the diagnosis time when people learn about a condition that they will then be facing and beginning a new journey, how to successfully move through that. We'll then move along Mary Beth Gallagher who is Hospices of the Valley's Dementia Program Director. She will be sharing how to cope as a disease progresses, how to juggle working and isolation and the decision to potentially place someone to another setting. And then we'll close with Dr. Boss, who you all just heard a bit of Dr. Boss. She's just incredible as she talks about the end of life and really the myth of closure and how to successfully navigate that transition after a loved one does pass. It's 
unbelievable what Duet is doing. And, you know, you talked about so many people not knowing that they're a caregiver. Uh, the fact is is that two out of every five adults out there are family caregivers. They may not realize it. And there's this one famous quote that there are four types of people in the world, those that have been caregivers, those that are currently caregivers, those who will be caregivers, and those who will need caregivers. So this is something that we all should be getting involved in. I realize it's not sexy, but the fact is is everybody's going to be affected one way or another or is presently dealing with this. And my appeal to our listening audience, if you know somebody is that family caregiver, you know somebody that is dealing with the stress, the anxiety, and the challenge that they have to deal with every day. You need to tell them about this event. And they are not alone. They will feel so supported if they come and share. We have mentors, other caregivers who we can pair up with isolated caregivers. They can have a friend on the journey and meet them at this symposium. Lynn Sue Cooney, who now works with Hospice of the Valley, is their director of community engagement, but so well-loved in our community with her major TV career. She will be our moderator that day. And it'll conclude with a lovely lunch. So it's just $20 for family caregivers. Scholarships are available. And then we'll move in in the afternoon for people who may be interested in facilitating that brand new video series, which consists of nine different 20-minute videos. So people can use that as a foundation for a, a very fascinating and helpful discussion series that they can lead in their own communities. And like you said, I mean, it's this is for those people to help them understand they are not alone. We we talk about that village, Duet's that village, and you're helping bring these people together. I had the pleasure a few months back having Lynn Sukuni on our show, and she's just amazing. And everyone knows her if they they lived here long enough. She was the co-anchor of Channel 12 News, and she is an awesome facilitator or moderator to really get the discussion going. You know, Becky or James, as we wrap up halftime, anybody want to make some additional comments feel free to i would just like to commend duet for the services that they provide i've had my own mother on your services and i can honestly say there's not a family that i work with that i don't suggest that they go on to the website and at least educate themselves about what you could offer thank you so much because it's it's more than the symposium there are 12 support groups that we offer around the valley and personalized guidance by phone various services to help them. I love the terminology, grand family. Yeah. Right? Grand family. (laughs) That that just blew me away when you just just said it once, and it just, it struck home. And that is exactly what we have in in a lot of different cases, our grand families. And that means from the, you know, the daughter or son to their, 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 their children, um, all the way up and down. And I mean, all the relatives around that become a grand family, and that needs to be recognized. So there's more than one cape, I guess. If you're well, looking well at there, the, there's a purpose <laughs> yeah. behind the grand family, and if you wouldn't mind, Elizabeth, just share before we break for halftime. Sure. What are the statistics on grandparents raising grandchildren? There are about 65,000 grandparents raising grandkids in Arizona. So that's a whole other type wow. of family caregiver that we're helping. Wow. All right, so if you want to learn more, go to duetaz.org. That's D-U-E-T-A-Z.org. Or call 602-274-5022. It's halftime here at Health Futures. We'll be right back. As we reach the bottom of the hour, we pause for a look at the world's news. Then we're back with Money Talk, where Money Radio 1510 AM and 105.3 FM. Senator John McCain has just been meeting privately with Defense Secretary James Mattis about the Niger investigation. McCain has been demanding answers about the attack that killed four American soldiers, and he threatened to start issuing subpoenas before Mattis agreed to a one-on-one meeting. A month after Hurricane Maria slammed into Puerto Rico, many roads remain impassable, blocking efforts to get help to some areas. U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Commander Lieutenant General Tob Semonite says they're trying to push through. An awful lot of trees that are down. Uh, Puerto Rico and Virgin Islands is where we probably saw the biggest deal debris. So we come in with big contractors that we already have on contract ahead of time, and then we go back out and we immediately start picking up debris on the sides of the roads and putting them in large trucks. We take it to a special area, and we're able to be able to 
to get it out of the road so people have mobility. Former Attorney General Loretta Lynch is being interviewed at the offices of the House Intelligence Committee. They requested the closed-door meeting to question her about Russia's interference in the campaign. I'm Michael Toscano. Thinking about life insurance? What if you could make one free phone call and learn your best price from nearly a dozen highly rated price competitive companies? Well, that's exactly what happens when you call SelectQuote Life. For example, George is 40. He was getting sky-high quotes from other companies because he takes meds to control his blood pressure. But when I shopped around, I found him a 10-year, $500,000 policy for under $25 a month. I'm SelectQuote agent Dan Savino. And believe me, if SelectQuote isn't shopping for your life insurance, you're probably paying too much. For your free quote, call 800-461-4545. That's 800-461-4545. 800-461-4545. Or go to selectquote.com. Since 1985, we shop, you save. Get full details on the example policy at selectquote.com slash commercials. Your price could vary depending on your health issuing company and other factors. Not available in all states. If it's your time to build your wealth or your time to reap the rewards, the place to find out the right way to do it is here. Money Radio. Hi, I'm Johnny Dean. And I'm Rick the Professor Plum. Every day on Bucket Strategy Investing, we're talking about financial planning, investment decisions, and retirement strategies. We focus on wealth education and the strategy designed for the needs you have today and the goals you have for the future. Tune in to Bucket Strategy Investing. And call in with questions. Retirement strategies, taxes, Social Security, and more. That's what we're talking about on Bucket Strategy Investing. Want more access to sweetheart deals? The Private Deal Guy invites Money Radio listeners to a series of informative webinars. From biotech to real estate, oil and gas to travel, The Private Deal Guy reveals deals not normally accessible to most investors. Visit privatedealguy.com. That's privatedealguy.com and register today for your free webinar. All materials should not be considered as specific recommendations or investment advice. Always consult with your investment professional before making important investment decisions. Why am I not getting more high-end clients? Join members of the National Association of Women Business Owners, NABO, Phoenix Chapter, and their guests on Wednesday, November 1st. Business development expert Mary Kravitz will give a presentation about how to get your ideal client to say, I need you. The luncheon meeting also includes NABO's annual marketplace and networking beginning at 11 a.m. in Phoenix. To learn more and make your reservation, visit nabophoenix.org. That's N-A-W-B-O-P-H-X.org. Did you know azbigmedia.com was named the website every Arizonan should know? For more than 30 years, AZ Big Media has brought readers the state's most compelling business and lifestyle news through newsletters and award-winning publications such as Arizona Business and Ranking Arizona Magazine. Stay informed with all your business, real estate, travel, and lifestyle news at azbigmedia.com. See why BuzzFeed named azbigmedia.com one of the top websites in Arizona. Visit azbigmedia.com today. It's all the genuineness of an In-N-Out burger times two. The In-N-Out Double Double. Double meat, double cheese, double fresh. Come taste the difference at In-N-Out Burger. I'm Bruce Vale with your money now. The federal budget deficit widened in fiscal year 2017 to the sixth highest deficit on record as government spending growth outpaced growth in tax collections for the second year in a row. The Treasury Department said the budget shortfall rose to $666 billion in the fiscal year that ended September 30th. That was a 14% increase from fiscal 2016. Shares of athletic shoemaker Skechers are soaring today. They're up 39% after the company blew past earnings estimates for its third quarter. That prompted a round of stock price target increases from analysts and at least one upgrade. Shares are seeing their biggest one-day percentage gain since Skechers went public in 1999. The broader market remains higher with the Dow Jones Industrial Average ahead 137 points. The Nasdaq Composite is up 26 points. That's your money now. Hello? Anyone there? Hey! United Healthcare heading your way. Thank goodness. Lost in the giant Medicare maze? It's so complicated. No worries. United Healthcare has the people, tools, and plans to get you through it, including the only Medicare plans with the AARP name. I'm so glad you found me. 
Need to find a Medicare plan? Get help now at uhcmedicare.com. AARP Medicare plans from United Healthcare. United Healthcare pays royalty fees to AARP. AARP is not an insurer. I'm not much of a dancer. Never have been. Not at weddings, not at concerts, not even when my favorite song is on the radio. But there's something about seeing exactly what I ordered arrive at my facility's door the day after I ordered it. That gets my foot a tapping. That's why I love Granger. With 99% of in-stock items shipping the same day they're ordered, they get us what we need when we need it. Which means we keep moving and I keep grooving. Call clickgranger.com or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it. Now back to Health Futures. Taking stock in you. If you have questions about your own or your loved one's future health care, call 602-264-8009. Now, here's your host, Cypress Home Care Solutions, Bob Roth. Welcome back. You're listening to Health Futures, taking stock in you. I'm your host, and we're on segment number three. We're coming at you live from the Scottsdale Oil Park. It's October 20th, Friday, of course, and uh, you if you missed the first two segments you missed a great show in the first half we were talking to duet specifically elizabeth banta who is the executive director for duet partners in health and aging and they've got an incredible family caregiving symposium that is coming up on november 2nd over at the church of beatitudes uh we'll talk about a little bit as we close but i want to punt it over using a great (laughs) football metaphor because we're in football season and and on Sunday morning, we're going to be watching football from the U.K., That's which will right. be very interesting, and hopefully <laughs> we'll see a big win. But I'm really pleased to have in our studio, I, I've got Becky Fiola. She has a company called Assisted Living Advantage. But more importantly, not only does she do elder consulting and placement services, she was that caregiver, and she's also an award-winning author. So I want to welcome you to the show. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. I would like to go back a moment and talk about something Elizabeth mentioned, that many caregivers don't identify with the fact that they are a caregiver. I find that's especially true if you are a child or a spouse of somebody needing care. And the problem with that that alarms me the most is that if you don't think you're a caregiver, you sometimes don't realize you have a right to reach out and ask for help. Exactly. Exactly. Um, Many people feel it's just their duty. Well, I'm his wife. That's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to be the one. Well, that's my mother. She raised me. I have to be the one providing care. So I'd like to stress to families in this situation that there are resources, there are options. It doesn't mean that you're not providing care and loving your loved one. It means that you're recognizing that there are, is other help out there. Can I add, though, you know, AARP has an incredible statistic, and that is 65-year-olds and older caring for one another. Now, mind you, we're talking about the silence in the GI generation, if right. you would. It's before the boomers. These guys really took the oath of sickness and health, literally. Yes. <laughs> and 65 and older couples caring for one another, they have statistics that show 63% of the time the caregiver predeceases the care recipient. I, I have seen that working with families, and that in itself is even more devastating because then what happens to the person that they were providing care for? Exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. And, you know, my appeal to our listening audience is, look, they're not going to really ask for help. It's just not their nature. Mm -hmm. So don't ask to help them. Just do. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're cooking a casserole, cook two of them. And then bring it over to them and say, look, I cooked you dinner. And there are ways, too, because if you ask a person, you know, do you need help with anything? Chances are they're going to say, no, I'm doing just fine. It's far better to tell them, look, I'm noticing you're struggling with this. Can I make a casserole or two and bring it to you? Could I run and I'm going to the store. Could I pick up some things for you? If you word it in very specific ways, then they don't necessarily see that as asking for help. It's a convenience. So, exactly. well, Many of our listening audience know that I'm in this business because I was a caregiver mm-hmm. for my mom. Along with my brothers and my dad, we did the caregiving um, role, if you would. And it was a labor of love. 
and don't get me wrong it, it was hard work but it was a labor of love I did that for nearly 18 years wow. wow and and that propelled me to getting to do what I do mm-hmm. Becky Fiola you were a caregiver I if, w- if you don't mind I'd love for you to share it with our listening no audience. I love to share it because I think people need to hear that other people have been in their situation and have come out of it and are helping others but my husband had Huntington's disease which is a degenerative brain disorder Mm. Um, he was diagnosed in his early 40s he passed away at 49 from the condition but I had taken care of him for years before he was officially diagnosed with the condition it was 11 years as a caregiver and we went through um, some pretty difficult issues that actually prompted me towards this service that I do Um, we were talking about it one of those was when he went into the nursing home he had stopped eating and although he had very strict instructions on how he wanted his end of life to be the state tried to step in and put a feeding tube in which would have extended his life indefinitely his mother who had the same condition lived 25 years in a nursing home unresponsive unable to Uh communicate and um, she actually outlived Neil for two years because of (laughs) because of what they did to extend her life and I fought tooth and nail the sad part is I had to go to court to keep the state from dishonoring his desires and we've talked about it here on the show and and certainly it you know I don't want to spend too much time on this but memorialize your wishes sit down with your professionals and if you can't afford to have an attorney review your documents there are free documents up there on the secretary of state's website up on the attorney arizona attorney general's website um you know there's a lots of resources Mm -hmm. to memorialize it make sure your loved ones have it and if you're an adult child and you're having you know you want to have this discussion it's not a one-time discussion this Mm -hmm. is something you do over time but make sure that your loved ones more the, their wishes are memorialized. Absolutely. You, it could be as simple as writing it down on a piece of paper but have it notarized. And there are mobile notaries who could come to the house if you can't get out of the house. But do something. Don't just hope people will. No. So, so this experience that you had propelled you to write a book? Yes. To start a company? Yes, two so, companies. So tell me, tell me about what you're doing. Well, I found it very important that families have an ethical place to reach out for business there are uh, sometimes in the elder care generation there are some sharks out there Mm -hmm. so that was number one I wanted them to have somebody they could trust I knew that you know my my hospice bereavement counselor said when you've been through something and you reach out to help others in that situation you yourself will heal faster so I started out actually very selfishly trying to reach that that end game but I realized that this is important for families to have a trustworthy resource who can take them by the hand and say, look, you're not going through this alone. There's other people that can help you, who can stand by you and walk with you. But you just need to know who those people are, and I can tell you that. Right. (laughs) So, yeah. You know, when you go into being a caregiver, there's no handbook. You haven't gone to school to learn how to be a caregiver. You learn as you do it. You're right. And and that's why this workshop that duet is putting on is Mm -hmm. so vital for caregivers out there because there isn't a manual no and i think caregivers beat themselves up because they don't have all the answers and they worry about making mistakes and that that saddens me Mm -hmm. um you know you you may make some mistakes but there there's nobody expecting you to know everything about what you're doing no there's there's definitely not and i you know is it just one book you've written? Yes. And yes. And, and the name of the book and is the elder care, the, uh, the elder care consultant, your guide to making the best choices. How can we get it? It's on Amazon. It's at Barnes and Noble. Changing hands. Um, How long ago did you write it? I wrote it. I actually started it in 2010, and it came out in 2015. The publishing industry is hard. <laughs> well, I got to imagine it was probably very cathartic for you to get through it. It was. I loved it. Um, it, it helped me a lot to, to I used myself um, in what I needed and that hadn't been available to me as to what I wanted in the book. But also, pretty much every client I had worked with said, you know, you've taught me so much. Why aren't you writing a book? 
right. to reach other people across the country. And now we're in 13 international countries. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. It yeah. really is. And Congratulations. Thank you. And, you know, we need resources like that. We need, you know, and Elizabeth has heard me say this, we need tools for our tool mm -hmm. belt. And, mm -hmm. you know, having a resource like this for caregivers to to get their hands on mm -hmm. and, and learn that, as Elizabeth said earlier, you're not alone. Right. There, there, there are ways to cope and get through this. Right. One of the important things to me when I was writing the book was that I be allowed to put personal stories in the book. Because, you know, I'm writing a book, but having personal stories sometimes resonates with somebody reading the book more. They can see themselves in these people. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I want to learn more about the book. Okay. And then I want, if you wouldn't mind, tell us a little bit about Assisted Living Advantage. All right. And w why you're different from others out there. I know why you're different. <laughs> I've learned just in this is last segment why you're different. Thank you. Thank you. It's it's hard to believe we're down three segments. I know. You're, it's flown by. It is flown by, <laughs> and we're going to really pack it in on the fourth segment. You're listening to Health Futures Taking Stock and You. I'm our host, Bob Roth, and I've got Becky Fiola from Assisted Living Advantage. I've got Elizabeth Banta from Duet Partners in Health and Aging, and I've got James Ship here as my sidekick who will be guest hosting next Friday. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hey, Phoenix, Larry Kudlow here. Be sure to join me every Saturday at 2 p.m. on the Southwest's longest-running financial talk radio station, the one and only Money Radio. And during the week, don't miss Mastering Money with hosts Steve Jurich and Ken Morgan daily at 8 a.m. right here on Money Radio 1510 AM and 105.3 FM. For podcasts, download the free Mastering Money app for both Apple and Android and visit MasteringMoneyRadio.com. Beer, art, music, trains? The Railroad Fest stages the best art, music, and food. Enjoy beer by Four Peaks Brewery, music by Ultimate Bon Jovi, voted Arizona's best cover band, Chad Rubin, Fuel It, and DJ Wolf One, plus art and games. 100% of the proceeds go to the nonprofit Skyline Wish Builders, which has been helping poverty stricken children in Phoenix since 2004. For tickets and more information, visit railroadfest.com. That's railroadfest.com. Get total freedom in your life safely and quickly. Build wealth and passive income so you never worry about working till you drop, losing your job, or retiring in poverty. Hi, I'm Steve Davis, an investor in thousands of units over the years. Now it's your turn. Del Wamsey has been my mentor for nearly 25 years, and he's taught over 100,000 people just like you the principles of financial freedom through live one-on-one -on -one mentoring at Lifestyles Unlimited and his national radio show. I'm excited to tell you about the real estate workshop that changed my life. The workshop gets you on the inside of what we do and what we believe and unlocks the five ways we make money in real estate. Just like your personal trainer, Lifestyles Unlimited will motivate, encourage, and teach you so you can get in the best financial shape of your life. Call 866-971-8970 or go to luiphoenix.com. That's luiphoenix.com to register for the workshop that will change your life and let you stop worrying about working till you drop, losing your job, or retiring in poverty. To relieve muscle cramps in your legs and feet, use TheraWorks Relief. This fast-acting foam is clinically proven to relieve leg and foot cramps. Get TheraWorks Relief today at theraworksrelief.com. Now back to Health Futures, taking stock in you. If you have questions about your own or your loved one's future health care, call 602-264-8009. Now, here's your host, Cypress Home Care Solutions, Bob Roth. Welcome back. You're listening to Health Futures, taking stock in you. Um, your host, Bob Roth. And if you're just tuning in, we're on our fourth segment. So you can catch the first three segments and about 170 to 175 others up on our website at cypresshomecare.com. Click on the media button up on the top, hit the drop down, you'll get to the radio show and you can catch these first three segments, which were amazing. And I know this last one's going to be amazing, too. I have here in the studio with me, I've got Elizabeth Banta, the executive director, and she's the director of Duet. 
and they are partners in health and aging. It's a great social service organization, and they got a big event coming up that we'll plug right at the end of our show. And I got Becky Fiola, who is the owner of Assisted Living Advantage and award-winning author. And uh, we were talking about your book, The Elder Care Consultant, mm-hmm. and basically the, the, the script, the manuscript from that is your own experience right. of being a caregiver right. and telling these stories. Right. Sharing what people have been through so others can draw strength from those stories. Right. And maybe actually learn what worked for people or didn't work for people. One of the things I love about the book is that, um, you know, I touch on things other than just the A to Z on how to provide care. I touch on matters like what it's like talking to other difficult family members who don't agree <laughs> with the choices that have been made. That never happens. Right. Or what do you do when your loved one just says, I'm not accepting help? Right. And then, and what do you do after changes have been made? That's something people don't talk about. It just doesn't end right there and everything's rosy there can be some kickback when changes have been made so i address issues that a lot of people don't even think about managing along with managing the care of their loved one well that's important it really is and and again i think the overwhelming message that we want to relay to our listening audience here today is that you're not alone no and no. And, and it is also to recognize those unsung heroes those mm-hmm. that are making the the ultimate sacrifice. You know, I was talking about before we even started the show, Genworth Financial having this incredible series really promoting Family Caregiving Month and basically talking about they're they're superheroes, but they Mm -hmm. don't have a cape. They can't leap tall buildings with a single bound, Mm -hmm. but they're making these sacrifices day in and day out. Real quickly, I want you to talk a little bit about assisted living advantage i know there's so many placement companies out there and i know you just don't do placement you help people navigate i would consider you as more of a navigator if you would to the sources or resources that our our community has that's right i'm a firm believer that there you need to take baby steps just because somebody now needs help doesn't mean they necessarily need to give up their home and move to a community and I think it's easier on families and that individual if you exhaust other options before you insist on a move. Every case is different. There's nuances. You know, they may look the same to an outside person, but there are nuances that affect the situation. And I, I'm a firm believer that you must go in and learn your family, spend time with them. I've worked with families upwards of five to seven years as we move through nice all these changes and um you know i i just think it's better for the family the person who receives care as a whole if you make sure you've done everything you can to try to keep them at home you know it's it's interesting having james here because he went through it and i know statistically that you know 65 year old couples and older 92 percent of them want to stay at home absolutely but there's oftentimes there's the adult child who just says you know what you can't live here anymore, mm-hmm. and right. and you know, James, you experienced something very similar. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, it's 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 amazing. You know, as I was saying earlier during the break, you never know when this is going to happen, and we take for granted, you know, as they get older, like oh, mom and dad are still around, you know, or my spouse is still around. You just take it, and then all of a sudden it hits, and your life changes, mm-hmm. and it's sort of like um, duck, duck, goose, and you're the goose. And you have no choice but to step it up because then you start going back to, well, they were there for me for this, for this. So it's not even a question when you make that step forward. It's just sometimes when you have siblings, they say, oh, he's got it. He's, he's responsible. He's, you know, he can do this. Yeah. Uh, You nailed it. There's always one family member that everybody else says they can do it. (laughs) But they they can do it, but then there's also that. questions. (laughs) Then there's that family member that lives halfway across the country or the world. Right. right. And they come in and they're disruptors and Mm -hmm. they say, you know what? You know, you guys are doing it wrong. He's, he really doesn't have control. They can't stay at home. They need to move right. here. And, and then they, they stir it all up, and then they leave. Right. Well, I found that's guilt because <laughs> they're not there handling the day-to-day, so they come I, in I, and they try to, to I think take you're right. over everything. I would also like to point out, though, not everybody's meant to be a caregiver. Right. They don't have the personality. They just 
they're squeamish, whatever reason. And I don't think we should beat up on those people, but there are other ways to help provide this care without making somebody move necessarily. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I do want to say this, uh, and then I want to I talk about the duet event coming up. Okay. Is we created Cypress Home Care because my brothers and I and my dad were caregivers to provide respite for family mm-hmm. members. And respite is the key word here because we know that we have over 50 million Americans making this ultimate sacrifice and we just want to make sure that their batteries are charged and they don't burn out and become that 63% statistic that ARP has given us that pass away, caregiver versus care recipient. So respite is the ultimate key. And if you're listening in and you know of someone that is that family caregiver, offer or suggest or, you know, just do. Right. Just do. I, I, you know, th- we need to help those folks. So punting over to you. Using that football metaphor, getting ready for the U.K. game against the Rams, Cardinals, Rams, go Cards. I want to plug this event that's coming up on November 2nd. Thank you so much, Bob. And thank you to Cypress Home Care Solutions for being a sponsor of of the Caregiver Symposium along with a number of other wonderful community friends. But, yes, we invite anyone who has a responsibility for an aging loved one to join us on that day, 9 to 1, the key time for family caregivers. Professionals in the field of aging are also welcome to register. And those who would like to lead a video discussion series and be trained to do so can join us in that afternoon. And the best way to learn more about it is to go to duetaz.org, D-U-E-T-A-Z.org, or call 602-274-5022. Yes, and just kind of a point, people who have the responsibility even from a distance for a loved one, we think of as a family caregiver, and it is a wise person, I think, as you shared, who knows when it's time to get some extra help. They might be more of a managerial caregiver, and that can be very loving as well, lining up the proper care and and resources to help their, their loved one thrive through their own transitions as their health declines you don't have to go at it alone we no. built this beautiful village that we have here and duet is right at the center for 37 years and yeah. we're going to keep it going for 37 plus more later we need your help at duet we need not only your financial resources but volunteering too this is a wrap Health Futures thank taking stock you. in you. Elizabeth, Becky, James, thank you for being on the show. We'll be back next week. James will be hosting. Thank you. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. There's no place like home. You've been listening to Bob Roth's Health Futures. If you have questions about your own or your loved one's future health care, call Cypress Home Care Solutions at 602-264-8009. That's 602-264-8009. Or visit cypresshomecare.com. Be sure to join Health Futures with Bob Roth every Friday at noon, right here on Money Radio 1510 and 105.3 FM. Bill Gunderson's Nationwide Best Stocks Radio Show is now on Money Radio 1510 AM and 105.3 FM. Every morning from 9 to 10 AM, professional money manager Bill Gunderson will talk about the economy, markets, and the best stocks now. Bill Gunderson is also the inventor of the Best Stocks Now app and the writer of the weekly Best Stocks Now newsletter. If you like to invest in the markets, this is the show for you. You will not want to miss one episode. Visit GundersonCapital.com for more info. That's GundersonCapital.com. Money Radio 1510 and 105.3 FM. KFNN Mesa Phoenix. Well, with the market still settling, the Dow's up 151 points at 23,314. The S&P 500 up 11 at 25.73. The Nasdaq up 20 at 66.26. Gold is down eight dollars at 12.82 a barrel. Or excuse me, an ounce. And oil is up. 37 cents. When people want to talk about money, this is the place they come to. And there's more on the way after this break for the latest news.